good morning everybody first of all i thank the dr agarwal for starting very well now i'll be covering ultrasound of the peripheral nerves which is the unused and modality and which is the best modality available right now for the evaluation of the peripheral nerves so the basic ultrasound is ultrasound technology how it is to be done and then we'll have a discussion of cases the nerve fibers that are containing axons myelin sheath and schwann cell they are grouped together to form fascicles and loose connective tissue like elastic fibers and vessels that surround it it is called as sheath perineurium and thin septa arising from the perineurium that spreads into the fascicles surrounding every single nerve fiber that is called as endoneurium and all these are bundled out by outer covering epineurium so this is a schematic uh, image of the nerve peripheral nerve these are the fascicles and this is the endoneurium and this is the epineurium and the same picture is seen on ultrasound so these are hypoepic as the nerve fiber fascicles and surrounding are the epineurium perineurium so the uh, normal ultrasound is closely resembles histological aspect you can see the uh, video which is showing the median nerve the nerve fibers and adjacent are the muscle fibers so how how to evaluate the peripheral nerves on ultrasound usually you have to ha have a high uh, fre frequency peripheral transducer 8 to 18 megahertz linear probe should be used Visual visualization of the peripheral nerve should always be starting from the skin surface which is a known an anatomic landmark like uh, wrist uh, flexor retina film or in the knee joint you can always start from the uh, known point and then you can move the transducer to and fro the nerves are seen as parallel hyperechoic lines hyperechoic lines with hyperechoic separations in between and they almost look like an muscle fibers but in muscle fibers there is discontinuation of the uh, there is discontinuation while the nerves will show continuous uh, fibers so this is the median nerve in the transverse section and this is the median nerve in the longitudinal section and this is the muscle fibers that adjacent to it you can see that there is discontinuity while the nerve fibers are showing continuity the same picture static image now various uh, nerve pathology that can be di diagnosed and uh, on uh, ultrasound are nerve injury neuropathies or that com compression neuropathies tumors and infective pathologies of the peripheral nerves so nerve injury there are three different varieties uh, grading of the nerve injury the first and le less common less uh, grievous is the neuropraxia where there is minor contusion or compression of with preserved myelin sheath usually it has a very good recovery then axonotomesis that is a partial breakdown of axon and myelin degeneration can occur but there is a preservance of the schwann cells and endoneurium so moderate uh, regeneration is possible but in cases of neurotomesis where there is actual avulsion injury of the nerve fibers there is anatomical severance avulsion or crushing injury to the nerve and schwann cells and endoneurium usually it requires surgery so ultrasound will give information about which nerve is involved at what level it is involved the cause and the nature of the injury and the degree of injury whether it is old or fresh whether the nerve fibers are in continuity or there is some disruption and it will also evaluate the cause of compression if at all there is a foreign body as shown by dr gauro you can detect it and you can remove it and the patient will have good results and it will also give information about the distance between the two stumps which will decide about the length of the uh, uh, nerve graft that can be diagnosed and it will be very helpful for the surgeon and also it will give information about the stump neuroma as dr gauro has shown among case so this is a case where there is a radial nerve which is seen the fibers are seen in continuity and this is the muscle fibers this is a in continuation this is normal nerve and this is edematous nerve fibers and there is a injury to the uh, radial nerve so this is a minor variety it usually has a good recovery and in this case there is a large hematoma and there is partial involvement of the peripheral nerve fibers over here Uh, in this case there is a 
injury to the muscle fiber, uh, nerve fibers and there is partial discontinuation. In this case, you are seeing it. And this is a severe case in which you are seeing a discontinuation of the nerve fibers. This is avulsion injury, crushing injury. There is discontinuation. These are is this much length is a discontinued. So you can measure the distance, and this will help in the surgeon to decide about the management. The same another case which is showing injury to the peripheral nerve. And again, after a few uh, months, you can have a neuroma formation. That is because of injury, localized dilatation of the, uh, the nerve. Uh, the endings is well seen and there will be degeneration and the rest of the nerve fibers are well seen. So this is a normal uh, nerve in transverse section. Near the injury site, it is showing edematous and size of the nerve has increased. And lower down, it is further increased and there is a neuroma formation is going on. So this is a recent case. There is injury to the ulnar nerve and this is the ligament of Osborne, which is also thickened. And you can see there is a ulnar nerve, which is peripherally, it is showing echogenicity and enlargement at the level of elbow. This was just a few days back we, had, we did this uh, study. video is not working, but it will show the subluxation of the ultra, uh, ulnar nerve in this uh, image. This is the ulnar nerve, which is edematous. This is another case which is showing injury to the vessel and the pseudoaneurysm formation, and it is compressing the median nerve at this level. And this is another case where there is a complete tear, small segment of the tear into the uh, injury site of the ulnar now. This is again another case where there is an injury to the muscle fibers and partial injury to the nerve fibers also. Now coming to entrapment neuropathies, entrapment or compression neuropathies are uh, often unrecognized cause of pain and neural impairment. The nerves are more prone to compression in specific locations where they course through osteofibrous tunnels. That is commonly in carpal tunnel, you get median nerve compression in ulnar nerve in Guyan's canal, which is getting compressed, and the common peroneal nerve near the fibular uh, neck, and the posterior tibial nerve in the tarsal tunnel. Compression of median nerve between carpal bones and flexor retinaculum is the commonest pathology that we come across in our day to day practice. There is, will be focal enlargement proximally and the flattening distally. This is the most diagnostic. Uh, uh, criteria. And the cross sectional area of uh, 10 square millimeter is abnormal with abrupt narrowing distally. This is the most diagnostic uh, change. And enlargement of more than 2 millimeter in cross sectional area as compared to the proximal or distal segment is also 100 percent diagnostic accurately. Uh, nerve flattening should be regarded as a main sign of compression. There will be reduced nerve mobility on compressed set, uh, compressed uh, site. The axon loss may be associated with enlargement due to endoneural edema, and there will be loss of fascicular pattern in subsequent uh, period. So all this can be diagnosed on ultrasound. So this is a case where this is the median now. You can very well see, and you can see the me measurements. And this is the site where it is showing compression. This is the distal dilatation. This is the uh, normal now, and this is the compression now. And you can always compare with the opposite side. This is the right, which is the normal side. And this is the left, which is showing compression. And you can compare with the measurements. This is the compression side. This is more than 10 millimeter, is the area. Now coming to infections, the viral infections and leprosy are the common infections that can be diagnosed on ultrasound. There is a focal dilatation of the nerve. The nerve fibers are edematous, and subsequently there will be dilatation. And this is seen at the length. And 
and this is normal now and here there is a focal dilation at the ulnar now at the level of elbow this is again normal now local dilatation this is also a known case of uh, leprosy now coming to nerves peripheral nerve uh, tumors are common they are common nerve shoot tumors are the commonest they are now known as schwannomas or neurofibromas schwannomas have eccentric the ex length extending along the long axis of the fascicles and neurofibromas are spindle shaped with loss of normal fascicular architecture color doppler will definitely help in this cases color doppler will show some vascularity in neurofibromas whereas schwannomas will not show vascularity then it can be malignant hemangiomas lymphomas extreme soft tissue uh, which are cause encasing the nerve that can be diagnosed on ultrasound which may not be possible on uh, mri this is a case where the posterior tibial nerve is showing and this is a large cystic lesion which is in, uh, involving the peripheral nerve, nerve sheet this is the tumor and is compressing the the patient was having foot drop and on ultrasound guidance we took the bi biopsy from this mass lesion then few tumors like lipofibromas were very rare tumors with focal dilatation it just looks like an carpal tunnel syndrome but these are more hypoechoic fat depositions are seen so ultrasound is a very good very good advantages the it is most uh, important is inexpensive it is widely available there is no contraindications you can do all patients it allows rapid and detailed imaging of the entire length of the major peripheral nerves and you can always compare it on the both sides it is definitely far superior than mri because of its dynamicity and versatility it can be moved from segment to segment and comparison of contralateral side is always possible which may not be possible on mri thus ultrasound is a useful modality in the evaluation of almost all the peripheral nerve pathologies the lack of awareness about the potential of ultrasound in the form of that referring clinicians do not understand it easily and the lack of expertise have led to mri being favored over ultrasound but in coming days it will definitely be overcome by uh, newer radiologists who, who are taking more interest in uh, musculoskeletal ultrasound definitely uh, that will improve the scenario So in our country, with the majority of population which is unable to afford costly diagnostic tests like MRI, ultrasound should be the first modality, and but still it is underutilized modality. The Edman et al. have reported that ultrasound has a higher sensitivity and equivalent specificity as compared to MRI, and it also detects multifocal nerve lesions better than MRI. They go on to say that ultrasound is a preferred initial modality. in the anatomic evaluation of suspected peripheral nerve lesions on ultrasound making the referring clinicians aware of its possibilities proper labeling of images along with panoramic views and adequate training of the radiologist are the steps in the right direction and dr gaurav is one of the pioneer of uh, musculoskeletal ultrasound he will be visiting most probably uh, for doing musculoskeletal ultrasound as well as interventions uh, in aurangabad we are hoping him to see again Thank you very much. I acknowledge my images for Shanti Imaging and MGM Medical. Thank you. Yes. The better, higher frequency uh, images are better uh, because you can see the superficial structures very well on a higher frequency uh, probe. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. Uh, that's why uh, such interactions are more needed if you come across then we can send the uh, live images also if you want live images you can see the entire live video uh, you can see the entire uh, length of the nerve muscle fibers where discontinuity is there 
that can be seen and uh, definitely with the interactions between the clinicians and the radiologists it will improve both both ways thank you very much